Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Basement Billiards. Today I got a really good drill that I came up with. So in this drill, you got to make all the balls, and your leave has to be inside of the square after every single shot. So every time you'll see, it's going to come back into that square. And uh, this drill is going to help you with playing English off of the rails. It's going to help you with your really touchy shots, with your draw shots, and also uh, your position shots. So you're going to see that you're going to be playing a lot of left and right English off of the rail to keep the cue ball into the square, especially on the long shots down the table. So this drill might not look that hard, but let me tell you, it was pretty frustrating for me. It took me a few tries to do, and uh, once I got it, I was really happy, and then I played a couple games of eight ball after, and I was running racks. So I definitely recommend this drill. I haven't seen another drill out there like it. Um... Hopefully you guys can try it and let me know what you think in the comments bar. But as you can see here, you really want to get shape on these two long ball shots early on. I waited a little while to do it, but you don't want to leave yourself the long shots at the end. And then the two hardest balls are the ones in the upper corners right now. Because you're going to have to use uh, bottom left and bottom right English to bring the cue back into the square. So if you wanted to make this drill a little bit more difficult and you thought that this was too easy for you, uh, you can make the square smaller. You could put the balls closer to the rail. Um, or you can make it so that you have to hit one or two rails in between every single time going in and out of the square. But all in all, I think this is a great drill. Uh, you can see on this shot, you're going to have to come off the rail with bottom right English and zip back into the square. And right now, you're clear sailing with two balls left. I had to stun this one against the rail to get it to come back in, even though because it was almost straight in. But I hope you guys like this video. I hope it improves your game. Let me know what you think. If there's any recommendations you have or drills you want me to post in the future, uh, let me know. Thanks.